Yeah, hi guys. And those who know Kamora Parker say uh, that she used to be a positive, uplifting voice for the trans community here in Connecticut. That is until her friends say she allegedly started going down a very dark path, a path that included ritual sacrifice and black magic. On this day, New Britain police detectives back outside the Deferith Israel Synagogue. Michelle Joyce is a longtime member. The building holds a lot of very special memories for, for me. It was a blow. It was devastating to visualize the damage. While outside St. Matthew Lutheran, a restoration van, both houses of worship, the targets of arson Friday. Who does something like that? Churches out of all things. Allegedly, this woman. Arraignment, Kamora uh, Parker. 30 year old Kimura Parker was arraigned virtually, but still managed to interrupt the judge. Kimura just. Right. Okay, Ms. Parker, Ms. Parker, I'm trying, just a sec, okay? I'm trying to hear what your attorney has to say. Parker is charged with arson in connection to those church fires and burglary at St. Joseph's. The why is, is still the big question is the why. Louis Malave and Caleb Newberry are Parker's former friends. They think they know why. Her as a person, she started changing, like physically, mentally, and we distanced ourselves. They say Kimura has been practicing black magic and holding rituals and now thinks that she is Ezreal. She is the new God. I didn't know that she was going to become this wicked. And that's the, the word for it, wicked. Her social media posts depict a dark turn, this creation of who she calls Akeem, the Christ. She decide the dark path, and if you decide a dark path, that's what you gonna encounter. It broke my heart because I know this person since she was 15 years old. I hope she gets help, I really do. And the judge deemed Parker such a threat to the community that she's now being held on $250,000 bond. She will be back in court on March 28th. In the meantime, the FBI is also investigating the church fires. They're weighing possible federal charges. We're live here outside New Britain Superior Court. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.